We're going to pick up my car. We're going to pick up my Corrado from uh, from Jamie. Jamie's been working on it. He's been doing all the underneath. Hopefully, when we get there, it's going to be up on a ramp, and I'll be able to show you guys what's. Look at the little kitten! Look at the little kitten! Oh! Oh my god, that's adorable! Oof. We were a little bit set back. It died. The battery just decided to die, so we had to get jump started and then went to Halfords get a battery and now we're on our way three hours later hey how you doing yeah. Yeah. hello good girl you getting old now duff you're like 15 or 16. Still a kitten though. You're still a little kitten. We're back from picking up my car. I was hoping when we got there he'd have it up on the ramp so I could see everything that he's done to the underside. Sadly not, but I'll throw up some pictures in a minute actually, in a minute, because I want to chat to you guys. So, we're down the end. We've got the Audi, we've got the Mark 6, and the Corrado. What has been going on? Quite a lot has been going on. So like I said, the Corrado, right? Let's flip the camera around. Here it is. It's not the best light for me to be showing off everything I've done. Let me switch on these lights. It might help a little bit. Not really. <laughs> okay, so it was in the garage. No, let's go back about six months, maybe even more than six months. I took it into work because these seals were rusting both sides where people had jacked it up and it's moved, it's like crumpled the seals. So got that into work, uh, the panel beater at work fixed that. Then he put stone, stone chip on all of it. All of this is fresh stone chip. Uh, obviously underneath the paint. This, was this the new one or was this, I think this was the, no, yeah, so this this one I've repainted because the car's been painted in the past and along the top edge where people have been polishing it, they've broken through. So I just, this is a new wing because someone in the past had welded the wing to the sill and completely destroyed everything behind it. So I had to get a new wing and then obviously paint that. Bumper's been repainted because I don't know if you remember there used to be a scratch here. That's now fixed. I'm getting fucking cob covered in cobwebs. That's one thing that I'm not going to miss from this place. My parents are selling the house, which means that this place is going to be gone. All of this is going to be gone. All of this, everything. I'm going to miss it so much. So back on this again. Had to redo all of this. I still haven't polished the blend out, but this was all painted. It was rusty. It looked like shit. So I wanted to get that fixed. Uh, it's looking loads better now. I just need to get some new kick guards for it, whatever they're called. Uh, not much difference with the interior, not that you can really see anything. The guy that I just took it to fixed the glove box. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, it's the same. So that's what I've done on it so far. Then, place I just took it to, his name is Jamie. Massive shout out to him. He stripped the underneath, took the rear beam took the front subframe out uh, anti-roll bar uh swapped the wishbones or the lower arms for new ones and he's he took it to a place sandblasted them powder coated them all new bushings fixed the creaking that was that was there's like a knocking creaking noise coming from this side he's fixed the camber issue so that's now similar to this side Whereas before this side was like, like that, like it had crazy camber, which made the whole car want to just kind of flick out from the rear end. But the whole car feels so much more stable now. I feel like I can actually send it and not, not be too worried. It is still very front end heavy because it's got a massive VR6 engine and it's front wheel drive. 
and there's like nothing off the rear. Uh, he's also fixed under here. You're not, I don't think you're going to be able to see it at all, but the, the rear end was essentially just rust. The front was fine. And then you got to the rear. The rear beam was just rust. Uh, where the toe eye cover was, was just, it looked like a Cadbury's flake. It looked so bad. That's pretty much it. That's like the main work. So the engine, I, again, I can't remember what I've said, but the engine uh, had a new chain, gaskets, and the head was skimmed either last year or the year before. I think it was the year before. So I made sure the engine was safe. And then I wanted to do the bodywork bits that I needed to do, and then the underneath bits. So that's all now been done. This one is going back to Artec at the end of the month because it needs cam belt change, service. It's got a little bit of an oil leak and it's also misfiring again. And it was misfiring about three years ago and we took it up. We were a bit delayed picking this up because we got to the fuel station and it just wouldn't start back up. The battery had just completely died. So I, I had to push it, Lucy steered it, got my mum to come and jump start the car to bring it here. And then we went to Halfers to get a new battery and it's been fine. And today I've got to do the rear brakes on this because uh, not looking great. And then I've also got to give this a service because this hasn't been serviced in 11,000 miles, 12,000 miles. I don't know when the last time I serviced it was. I'll have to look in the book, wherever that is. Uh, and you, I, again, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, Womp womp. And that. This happened probably about two two or three months ago. Basically, there's just a bunch of idiots on the road. And the guy, I don't want to get into it. I really don't want to get into it because I know I'll, I'll get some comments there like, ah, you should have done that. <laughs> Shit happens, right? And it, one day I'll fix it. But at the moment, it's just the least of my worries. I've kind of just been mistreating this car. It really needs a service. So I'm going to do that today. What did you want to say? What do you want to say? Really? Yeah. Now I'll go get that oil filter. Old filter out, new filter in. I love it when you just find random shit and you're in your bay. I've been looking for that. <laughs> How did I leave it in there? I mean, it looks filthy. It's falling apart in my hand as well. So that's probably done, yeah, just over 10,000 miles, I think, compared to this one. Fresh. Look at this. Look at that. Sucks in everything. There's a cigarette in it. You touch it and it starts falling apart. I feel like... It's time to just get an air filter, like a cone filter. But I didn't want to because the air filters are good, but on a daily, like it's just going to get filthy. So this is what I'm talking about. This is on Lucy's car. I've just taken this this air filter off. Now look at the, the whole engine is filthy, man. The whole thing needs a good clean. But this is one side. Looks nice and fresh. And this has been on here now for nearly three years. You turn around to the other side. It's filthy. Now you gotta try and clean that. So I love, I do love these because they make it sound so cool, but they're a pain in the ass, which is why they're foam ones. You just rinse under the tap, but these you gotta, uh, I've done it once on, uh, I've done it once on a filter like this, but you gotta basically wash it all off, strip it and then put more oil on it. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So for the moment, I'm just gonna rotate it so that the fresh side 
that is at the back. This is Daniel, you remember Daniel? <laughs> Thanks for the bike, bro. Yeah. How old are you? 17? Yeah. yeah. So you're 18 soon, aren't you? Yeah, in a month. I don't know anything about bikes, but it does look like quite a nice bike. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've just been sat here editing this video. The start of the video was probably about three months ago. Uh, I don't know why it's just taking me this long to, to edit it or get it all posted and stuff. It's just got a lot going on at the moment. I think I should probably say what my plan is or what I'm going to be doing with the channel because I haven't been posting. I'm probably not going to keep posting because I've got so much going on. But doesn't mean I'm quitting. It means that in the future when we're more set on what we're doing and what I'm doing, what I mean by that is with my job where we're living things things will change and things on YouTube will get better obviously the last like year or two I've been hardly posting and the things that I've been posting has been shit but I wanted to get things out just to let you guys know that I'm still here when I eventually get back into it it's gonna be a lot a lot better like the videos think of the videos that I used to make but on like a bigger scale I will be coming back and it will be good and it'll be it'll be good but it just won't be now getting how long until we're married I look at the calendar so it's the 14th today 14th of July what has happened to windows why can you not just click that and the calendar pops up 14 11 days 11 days until the wedding day and then we're going away for our honeymoon I need a whole production crew for this this shit that I got planned. Maybe I'll give it to Daniel. Daniel can earn some money. This is our flat. I don't even know if I've shown you our flat. I probably haven't. That's a massage gun. It's nothing weird. My legs are killing me from the gym. I've been going to the gym three times a week. Pretty much three times a week. That is all we hear in this flat. It's just fucking motorbikes and Daniel's motorbike since this video he has put he's done a muffler delete or whatever the fuck you call it on a bike where you take the little thing out of the box I don't know sorry I'm shit with bikes he's done that and he's probably one of these little fuckers coming around driving making loud noises I've been playing a lot of COD zombies recently especially like Black Ops 3 on my computer custom maps and stuff so there's obviously Black Ops 6 coming out which I'll be probably getting looks looks all right i haven't been doing anything to my car i still haven't fixed my car the front end is still fucked my parents are moving in a few weeks we're obviously getting married in 11 days i'm sure i'll post another update at some point sound good wicked thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one peace